Opening windows will prevent damage. One of the most persistent tornado myths is that opening windows will prevent your house from being destroyed. Many people believe that equalizing the pressure inside and outside the home will protect it from collapsing. In reality, this is false and dangerous tornadoes cause damage primarily through extreme winds and flying debris, not pressure differences. Opening windows only allows debris to enter your home more easily, increasing the risk of injury or death. The safest course of action during a tornado is to ignore windows entirely and take shelter in a small windowless interior space, such as a bathroom, closet, or basement. Historically, countless tornado casualties have been linked to people trying to vent their homes. Modern meteorologists consistently warn that closing all doors and windows and seeking interior shelter saves lives, whereas attempting to open windows does nothing to protect the structure. Tornadoes only happen in Tornado Alley. Many people assume that tornadoes are confined to the U.S. Midwest, commonly known as Tornado Alley. While Tornado Alley does experience frequent tornadoes, tornadoes can occur almost anywhere, including urban areas, the southeast, and even coastal regions. In recent years, areas like the southeastern United States, known as Dixie Alley, have seen increasingly strong and deadly tornadoes. These tornadoes are often more dangerous because they strike heavily forested or densely populated areas, sometimes at night. The misconception that tornadoes are exclusive to a specific region can leave people in other areas unprepared. Understanding that tornadoes can strike beyond traditional tornado alley is critical. Early warning systems exist across the US. Tornadoes always move northeast. A common misconception is that tornadoes always travel from the southwest to the northeast. While many tornadoes do follow this general path due to prevailing wind patterns and jet stream dynamics, tornadoes can move in any direction, including north, south, east, west, or even in erratic loop. Relying on this assumption can be dangerous. If you believe the tornado is moving away from you, you might delay taking shelter. Tornadoes have been recorded moving backwards or rotating unexpectedly especially in complex storm systems. Safe behavior dictates treating every tornado as a potential threat, regardless of its apparent direction. Emergency plans should focus on securing interior shelter and avoiding exposure rather than guessing which way the storm will go. Highway overpasses are safe shelters. One of the most widespread myths comes from viral videos and old advice that suggested taking cover under highway overpasses. While overpasses might seem like a sturdy option, they are extremely dangerous during tornadoes. The wind speed under an overpass can actually increase due to the Venturi effect, accelerating debris toward anyone taking shelter there. People in these locations are highly vulnerable to flying objects, including metal, wood, and glass. Additionally, overpasses do not provide adequate protection from the tornado's lateral winds. Instead of an overpass, tornado experts recommend moving to a sturdy, low-lying area or ditch if no building is nearby. Always covering your head and body to avoid flying debris, tornadoes cannot strike cities. Another false belief is that tornadoes avoid cities. People often imagine that urban structures somehow disrupt tornado formation. In truth, tornadoes can and do strike cities, sometimes causing catastrophic damage. Examples include tornadoes hitting Dallas, Oklahoma City, and Nashville, leaving behind widespread destruction. Tornadoes are driven by supercell thunderstorms, and large buildings have little effect on their paths or intensity. Urban areas, due to population density, often experience higher casualties and economic losses when tornadoes strike. Assuming cities are safe is a dangerous error. Everyone in tornado-prone areas, urban or rural, should have a designated interior shelter prepared and ready at all times. Tornadoes only occur during the day. Many people believe that tornadoes only happen in daylight. While it is true that visible tornadoes are easier to spot during the day, tornadoes can occur at any time, including at night. Nighttime tornadoes are especially dangerous because they are harder to see, and people are often asleep, reducing response time. Studies show that tornadoes occurring between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. account for a disproportionately high number of fatalities, largely because residents do not receive warnings in time or fail to seek shelter. Modern emergency alert systems, weather radios, and smartphone warnings are crucial for detecting tornadoes at night. 
relying on visibility alone is a deadly misconception. Tornadoes are always visible. Some people assume that a tornado is easy to identify due to a funnel cloud. However, many tornadoes are rain-wrapped or obscured by heavy precipitation, making them nearly invisible. Rain-wrapped tornadoes are common in the southeast and can be especially dangerous because they appear as ordinary rainstorms until it's too late. Visibility cannot be relied upon for safety. Instead, attention must be paid to tornado warnings, radar alerts, and sky conditions such as dark greenish clouds, large hail, and rotating wall clouds. Believing a tornado is always easy to see can delay sheltering, putting lives at risk. A tornado's size determines its danger. Many people assume that smaller tornadoes are harmless. While it is true that EF0 or EF1 tornadoes are weaker, size alone is not an accurate measure of danger. Small tornadoes can produce extremely high wind speeds, and even brief contact can destroy homes, flip vehicles, or injure people. Conversely, very wide tornadoes may appear intimidating, but sometimes travel over open terrain with less destruction. The key is that any tornado can be deadly if it strikes populated areas, regardless of its apparent size. Safety measures should be based on official warnings, not the tornado's dimensions or appearance you can outrun a tornado in a car. Some believe that driving away from a tornado in a car is safe. While a tornado's average speed is slow enough to allow escape in theory, this tactic is highly risky in practice. Tornadoes can change direction suddenly and debris or multiple tornadoes in an outbreak can trap drivers. Cars offer almost no protection against flying debris. High winds can easily lift or flip vehicles, and visibility is often poor during storms. If caught in a tornado while driving, experts recommend seeking shelter in a sturdy building or, if none is available, lying in a low-lying ditch while covering your head. Tornado myths don't matter. Believing in myths may seem harmless, but misinformation about tornado safety can be fatal. Each of the misconceptions discussed, opening windows, relying on overpasses, assuming daytime safety, has historically contributed to unnecessary deaths. Tornado preparedness relies on accurate knowledge, early warnings, and proper sheltering. Education campaigns, local emergency planning, and personal preparedness kits can reduce risk but only if people understand the real behavior and hazards of tornadoes. How to stay safe. Staying safe during a tornado requires following evidence-based practices. Always seek shelter in a small windowless interior room or basement. Avoid vehicles and never take cover under overpasses. Monitor radar alerts, tornado warnings, and emergency broadcasts. Prepare a tornado emergency kit with water, food, flashlights, and a first aid kit. Educate all family members about tornado drills and safe locations in your home. Be aware that tornadoes can be rain-wrapped, nighttime events, and strike anywhere, urban or rural. Following these steps drastically increases your chances of survival and counters the dangerous myths discussed earlier.